potential to dissipate excitement for even the most anticipated of titles. GameSpot's people's choice for most exciting game of E3 2013, Watch Dogs certainly lost a few fans when it announced its delay. But I think there's at least one reason to keep excitement up for the title. In fact, I've got five. Let's get into them. The first reason on my list is the chance to get stuck into another of Ubisoft's typically excellent open worlds. We recently had a feature from Daniel Hines on site which suggested that Watch Dogs is all set to deliver exactly what we've expected from Ubisoft's open worlds. Plenty to explore, crafting, as well as random and not so random encounters. With so many linear cinematic titles and games that pretend to be open world but mostly take place in giant cages, I'm looking at you Tomb Raider. It's nice that Ubisoft is doing their part to give gamers a place to roam and make their own choices. A feature we don't see nearly enough of in games is hacking, a mechanic that Watch Dogs could certainly capitalize on by incorporating clever and tactical hacking. With the focus in many games shifting towards hack and slash and belting bullets into enemies, there's a real satisfaction in being offered another path to the final win scenario. Whether that path happens to involve stealth or in this case hacking, it's a seriously refreshing way of tackling an in-game obstacle. Obviously, this is pretty dependent on how you Ubisoft decide to actually implement the mechanic, but if the choices are varied and unique enough as we're expecting them to be, this is a particularly exciting feature. I know I've said it a hundred times before, but generally I find multiplayer in games pretty tedious and would much rather just get stuck into a single player campaign. Then again, that dislike is not so prominent when it comes to multiplayer that pushes beyond the typical. Watch Dogs is planning to implement multiplayer in a way that not only makes sense in the world, but also changes up the classic player versus player formula. Essentially, it boils down to another player secretly slipping into your single player game or vice versa. Then the infiltrator is tasked with finding the other player in their game and then attempting to install a backdoor virus in the player's phone to extract data, which then transfers to power in their own single player game if they return to it and complete their objective successfully. For me, there's nothing all that exciting about attacked on multiplayer mode, but something that works with the game's concept and contributes back to your single player campaign is an interesting idea. Let me know what you think of the mode. You're pretty hard pressed to find an in-game story these days that doesn't sound eerily similar to a whole lot of other games you've already played, but Watch Dogs may be one of those gems. Not to mention incredibly topical since you're hard pressed to find a newspaper these days that doesn't mention the NSA. Watch Dogs is all about information warfare. Sure, the city's all-seeing central operating system can track you using technology, but that's not to say you can't use it to your advantage too. And being that you happen to play a super smart, hack-savvy Irish vigilante, that complements your skill set pretty well. In what I consider something of a blessing, we haven't been horribly inundated with Ubisoft telling us all about the plot just yet, so hopefully the concept is just as enjoyable in its execution as it is enticing in its potential. This was the game that was going to make me buy a PS4. I wanted next-gen graphics on a game that sounded this good. And then the release date got pulled and my plans for buying a next-generation console were pretty much scrapped. So let's call this one a reason for buying a PS4. Obviously, loads of you have already taken the current gen plunge with a PS4 or an Xbox One, but given I play most of my games on my PC, I really did need a little incentive. Even though Watch Dogs is making its way to PC, having a game good enough to experience on a new generation console and show off what it can do is great. I'm a firm believer that it takes software to sell hardware, and the idea of a sprawling urban metropolis to explore on my TV with the shiny new console is hard to pass up. Let me know what's exciting you about Watch Dogs or if you think there's another upcoming title we should be focusing on. You can leave me your thoughts either in the comments down below or on my Twitter where you can find me at Jess McDonald. I'll be back next week chatting about another topic so I'll see you then.